Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. It's your awareness in the present moment. That's your safe spot. As soon as you go out from here, the mind can create all kinds of trouble. I mean, it's trouble enough in the world outside as it is, but the mind has this tendency to tr make even more trouble. So bring it back here. This is its safe spot. It can get to know itself right here and begin to see, okay, when this thought current goes running out, what is, com what is it coming from? Is it coming from greed or aversion, delusion? All too often we don't know these things. We just ride along with the currents and don't realize they're going to take us over the waterfall into whirlpools. There are all kinds of dangers down the river, so you don't want to go into those currents. So you want to recognize them as they start. So right here is where you want to be. This is where your mindfulness and alertness can keep you safe. And the Buddha talks about gaining refuge on the path, and the path takes you to a place of even greater refuge. And the main refuge we're looking to save ourselves from danger is the one that will save us from the dangers of our own minds. So that's why we practice, to train this mind. So instead of causing us trouble, it can actually be put to use. So try to keep your mind on a short leash as you go through the day. Right here, right here, right here. If you're not with a breath, be, at least be with whatever it is you're doing. If you're working, be with the working. If you're talking, be with the fact that you're sitting here in the body talking with other people. Don't get carried away off into the worlds of the conversation. You want to be grounded right here in the present moment as your safe spot. So whatever comes in, you're in a position to deal with it right away. To make another analogy, it's like a boxer. If the boxer has got his stance ready, then they can come at it from any side, and he'll have a, have a way of dealing with the problems, dealing with their various moves. But you need to have a good, solid foundation in order to be able to do this. So to use another analogy, it's get back to the river. This is like having an island. It's not being swept away by the river. You're up above the level of the water. And if a good current comes by going in a good direction, you go with it. But if, it's, if you're not sure of it or if it's not definitely going to take you to a dangerous place, the fact that you're on the island keeps you safe and puts you in a position to know. So try to maintain this sense of your safe spot here in the present moment as you go through the day. And if you're going to wander out, make sure you're wandering out because you've got a good reason.